getting tested is very difficult and you have to fit a, a certain criteria. Uh, there are people with COVID that are going to the ER, not being tested. The doctor turns around and says, well, you got the symptoms. Uh, you probably have it. Probably is not an answer. So they're uh, adhering to the side of caution and telling, uh, telling the patient, go home, quarantine for 14 days. And the person might not even have it. He might just have a bad flu. Problem is that COVID is such a wide ranging disease that you don't know where it strikes and you have no idea what it's doing at any time. Chest ultrasound happens to be a quantitative way of seeing what's going on in the lungs. You image it, basically seeing is believing, and you can measure it using the 3D histogram technology. This remote ultrasound screening program is comprised of three individuals. The patient, the virtual trainer to guide the patient on how to properly use the ultrasound device, and the radiologist, also known as the overreader. You will need a portable ultrasound with remote access, a selection of transducers or probes, and a teleconferencing app to communicate with each other in real time. And lastly, you will need a diagram of the organs that you need to scan. We sent him the system, we went through it, we gave him a diagram to, to follow along, and we actually utilized the Zoom function to actually see him scanning himself uh, for a couple of uh, trials or a couple of days when we did the scanning. The technology really with what we have today for both of us allows us to you know, really harness uh, the power of telemedicine. As we you know, progress with Cell from day one, um, obviously to the end, um, there was no changes in his lungs or his heart. Um, we looked, you know, was looking for you know, beelines to manifest um, you know, from day one on um, with, his, with his positive COVID that he had and realistically there was nothing that was showing up um, even with that when Dr. Bart over read. Also looking at his heart, we were looking to see depressed LV function, we we're looking for possible clots or some uh, RV function was normal as well. There was no RV enlargement. There was no gross you know, anomalies from, from a patient aspect was lucky. You know, there, there was, there was nothing he, you know, he had some mild, you know, maybe body aching, and uh, that was about it. He was, you know, one of those model patients for that you hope everyone would be like it when they contact the coronavirus. This chest ultrasound screening was developed to detect any respiratory disorders or infections that may be related to the coronavirus. In the lungs, potential COVID symptoms are identified with the vertical B lines, demonstrating diseased lung tissue, where increased B lines indicate severity of infection. B-lines are specific for pleural disease. COVID attacks mostly the periphery of the lung, where the lung tissue meets the pleural lining. Pleural disease, which is a measure of lung disease, is a way of uh, generating the B-lines. When you do the lung ultrasound and you look for the sign, this ultrasound like B-lines, they basically saw that the more B lines you had, it really was sort of prognostic. And so if they did a baseline exam, the worse your lung ultrasound score was, the higher risk you had of deterioration. And then on a follow-up scan, if they followed you up for any clinical reason, if your score worsened, you were much more likely to deteriorate. And I truly believe that when we do this testing, we're going to find out that, uh, uh, that many, many people have tested positive for this virus, without a doubt.